Outside school walls, parents here in Manesson are still reeling over how this could have happened. And the district leadership tells us they're trying to get to the bottom of it. This is the piece of paper a Manesson eighth grader brought home telling his father a teacher passed it out in class. We had to block out many of the words based on the Fifty Shades of Grey book because we just can't show them on TV. Appalling. I just can't imagine an educator putting that in front of an eighth grader, ever. Tuesday night at the school board meeting, James Carter asked the board to explain how up to five students could have received this racy word search. Came to the school today to figure out why my son was in the crossword puzzle for 50 shades of grade. The school board president responded. This is a personnel and student matter. It's being investigated by the district. The school board, we don't have the right to speak about that in public. And we are looking into it. I, as a parent, I can understand your concern, and I can assure you that we value your comments and we will handle it as best we can. We reached out to the superintendent for an explanation today, but there has been no further comment. That's not stopping local parents from sounding off about young students seeing things meant for adults. You're supposed to know what's going on under your nose, and that is your responsibility. So even if it was a prank, you shouldn't fall for it. Or if the, and if the teacher found it and it was a prank, then he should have gone to his superior and said, "Here's what happened." I mean, it's so inappropriate. Who who would even fathom the thought of, "I'll make a word search up with sex terms." That's great. I would be furious. I'd be trying to find if it was my kid was in that grade. I'd try to find out what was going on. That's what many parents and Manesson School District are trying to do. Shannon Perrine, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.